The systems that we placed uh, for you alerts failed us in this instance. Uh, we're told that their uh, alert system on campus did not work. That's uh, what that officer was telling, talking about. And the University of Arizona Police Department saying it's uh, the U alert system failed during the deadly shooting of a teenager on campus Sunday night. Yes, a 19-year-old Minhaj Jamshidi, a Pima Community College student and immigrant from Afghanistan, was killed. The suspect arrested yesterday and now remains behind bars. Now, this morning, law enforcement officials provided an update on the investigation. News 4 Tucson's chief investigative reporter, Chorus Nylander, was there in his live from the U of A Police Department with more on what was revealed today. Chorus. Hello, Sean. UA Police Chief Chris Olson, who you just heard uh, there, was joined by Tucson's police chief as well as the Pima County Sheriff expressing concern over repeated acts of violence involving teenagers with guns. They provided some new details in their investigation on the tragic death of Minhaj Jamshidi. Why is there a gun present at a volleyball game with young men in their, in their early 20s or younger than that? That's the resounding question Tucson Police Chief Chad Kazmar is left with after the tragic shooting of 19-year-old Minhaj Jamshidi, gunned down while playing volleyball with close friends Sunday night at this volleyball court near a dormitory complex on campus. And more and more young men are producing firearms in what used to be a ver verbal argument or what used to be a good old-fashioned fistfight. University Police Chief Chris Olson said that tips had helped identify Ryan Romero and Sinus as the suspected gunman, but after three days on the run, he called police to turn himself in, arrested at this Tucson apartment complex Wednesday. The Pima County Attorney's Office says he appeared in court Thursday morning receiving a million-dollar bond charged with first-degree murder. Chief Olson says the shooting happened after a series of arguments during a volleyball game. The suspect was known as someone who regularly played volleyball at the courts, but no one knew his name. A weapon has been recovered. But we cannot confirm if it is the murder weapon at this time. News 4 Tucson spoke with several students who were concerned about how police handled securing the campus. Wait, what if someone had their headphones in and they didn't notice what was going on? The police really kind of missed with this one. The systems that we placed uh, for you alerts failed us in this instance. We were quickly overwhelmed and uh, us falling short on that is, is my responsibility. I take full responsibility for that. They cannot believe that, that they lost their son. They came here three years ago um, escaping war in Afghanistan. Ratik Rafi, a close family friend that knew Minhaj for years, told us by text Thursday the family's very happy the suspect got caught and is happy that we have law here that punish these kinds of criminals. And during this situation, the U alert went out 30 minutes after police had already gotten the call and information that there was a shooting on campus. Chief Olson said that they made immediate changes to their U alert system after all of this. He says they'll provide more information on what, how those changes uh, are working out in the coming days. We'll continue to update you as we learn more about that. And also, the suspect, Romero Encinas, will be back in court October 7th. We're live from the University of Arizona Police Department tonight. Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson.